morning and welcome to our service of Holy Communion for this, the sixth Sunday of Easter. As always, everything that you need for today's service can be found on the, the Benefice website, including a service booklet, including readings and the pew sheet for this week, containing lots of information. So this week, as always, we begin our service knowing that we are all held in the presence of God, who knows and loves each and every one of us. Let's keep a short time of silence to still our hearts and minds as we come into his presence, to feel him with us and to be united with one another. We sing our first hymn. So we meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is only Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. For Christ died to sin once for all.
and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. We say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. And we have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. And so, Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the Collect for the Sixth Sunday of Easter. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they, they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of you, your own poets have said, 
for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, said the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me. But you will see me, because I live, you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so we affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so let us pray in confidence to the Father who has sent us the Spirit to be our advocate. Grant that the Church, guided by the Spirit of Truth, may keep and declare the commandments of God. May we so live in the divine love that the Spirit will live in us and be our guide. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the world, whereby many Christ is not seen and the Spirit is not known, do not leave your children as orphans without hope. Bless those who have rule over others and lead them into the way of truth, that the nations may be healed and your praise declared to the ends of the earth. Lord, 
in your mercy, hear our prayer. With the eyes of faith, may we see Christ in our families, our friends and neighbours, and all whom we know. Help us to live as he commanded, to know his love, and to be the channels of the Spirit in our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have no comfort, for the lonely and all who feel themselves to be without a guide. Have pity on children who are orphans, all who are neglected and abused, and give them the protecting love that will bring them to new lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have sought to live by the truth in this world and now are brought into truth in the fullness. We rejoice with them that they abide forever with God to be his children in the light of heaven. We pray all this in the name of Christ, who reveals himself to those who love him. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia! Christ has been raised from the dead. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Be present. Be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, and lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because in his victory over the grave, a new age has dawned, the long reign of sin is ended, a broken world is being renewed, and humanity is once again made whole. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim with your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of wine and bread may be for us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. 
and we look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your son, our Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the saviour of the world. And so accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. For Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. And blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. We say together, Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation, and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us, with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. It is good for me to be able to share this communion with you all this morning, receiving the bread and the wine on behalf of all of us, to remind us that Although apart, we are still together and united in the body of Christ. So let us pray. God our Father, whose Son Jesus Christ gives the water of eternal life, may we thirst for you the spring of life and source of goodness through him who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. We say together, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise 
that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom this spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. seeing our final hymn. God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep. Through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be amongst you and remain with you and all those whom you love and care for this day and always. Amen. We are raised to new life with Christ. Stay at home in his peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>